Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm not in my kitchen, so this video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. If you're new here, I am a plant-based RN and I follow the Starch Solution. If you're not familiar with the Starch Solution, it is a program that was developed by Dr. John McDougall and he wrote a book called The Starch Solution and I will leave a link to his book in the description box below. On my channel, I share whole food plant-based recipes that are quick and easy, so if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. You can also follow me on Instagram, and if you're new to this way of eating or if you feel like you need some more support, I started a Facebook group and I will leave a link to that in the description box below. So as the title of this video states that I gained weight, and this is very true. During the month of July, I noticed that I put on about four pounds. Now I know four pounds isn't very much, especially if you have to lose, you know, 10, 20, 30 pounds, four pounds sounds like nothing. But there's a reason why I'm making this video and why I'm wanting to share this. Because whether you have to lose four or 40, it's all the same principle. You use the same techniques for the same goal, to lose weight. I'm filming this on August 1st, which is interesting because today is my 10 year vegan anniversary. So it's been 10 years since I've had meat, dairy, or eggs. And I, I haven't died, I'm still alive, I'm still healthy, it's amazing. So 10 years is a long time, it's kind of a milestone. I feel good about it. So let me give you a little background as to what led up to these, this four pound weight gain. But first I want to say that I am in no way beating myself up or feeling bad, feeling angry or sad, not at all. I mean, this is something that happened, it's a fact, and I'm going to deal with it. And later in the video I'm going to share with you what I plan to do. So anyway, we'll start with July 4th. We had planned to have people over, about 15 people, which was stressful enough, but then as it got closer, the guest list got bigger and bigger, was growing and growing, and we got up to 30 people. Then I was really stressed out. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, but stress will release cortisol, which is not conducive for losing weight. Now I prepared whole food plant-based foods. So I had pasta salad, green salad, fruit salad, I made vegan baked beans, I made some gluten-free vegan garlic bread, so I had a lot of choices. Of course, there was non-vegan things here because I'm really the only one in my family, my friends. I have a couple of friends at work that are plant-based, but as far as who was going to be here, I was the only one. But as people do, they brought different items to the party. They brought chips and they brought cookies and they brought guacamole and they brought cupcakes, which is fine. Um, but I ended up eating a bunch of potato chips, which is not good, and I ate too much. You know, usually I eat till I'm comfortably full, but I ate till I was uncomfortably stuffed, which I know is not good. So that was the start of it, which wasn't too bad. I mean, that's nothing really. Uh, then two of my children have birthdays in July, so both of them wanted to go out to dinner. And of course, it wasn't really anything I could eat there. There was a, I went, we went to a Japanese restaurant and I had some rice and some veggies, but there was oil in it. Okay, fine, not gonna kill me. Uh, same with my other child. We went to a place where I know there was oil in the food. Um, so, you know, it just kind of was snowballing. Then, Another night we had game night with the kids and we made burgers. I had a veggie burger and I put vegan cheese on it and not my vegan cheese. I put some BioLife provolone on there and um, so and that's basically oil. And again, ate too much. Then we had a bonfire down at the beach and we got pizza. And I know my gluten-free pizza had oil in the crust. Almost positive and probably in the sauce too. So you can see where I'm going with this, right? Then we went out to dinner with some friends, and again, there was probably oil in the food, ate too much. You know, now that everything's opening up a bit, we're kind of 
going out more, doing more things. So normally, I don't go out to eat. So this has kind of been an unusual, July was an unusual month. And then a couple times I had vegan ice cream, which as you know is loaded with fat. It's vegan. That's the one thing I don't ever compromise on because I am an ethical vegan. So eating anything with dairy, eggs, I mean, no, it's just not gonna happen because I don't see it as food. I don't wanna contribute to the suffering of animals. So that's something I never sway on. In addition to that, all that that happened in July, I wasn't getting enough sleep. I'm burning the candles at both ends. I, I work full time. I have my YouTube channel, which I love doing, but it takes time. It takes my time and it's just me doing it. So I am, you know, producing it, scripting it. I'm doing the grocery shopping. I'm setting up all the equipment. I'm filming it. I'm editing it. I'm posting it. And it just takes time. Again, I love doing it, but uh, sometimes I get to bed late. And speaking of late, that's another thing I was doing as I was eating late at night. Normally I like to stop eating 7, 7.30 and I was eating later at night because we were out doing different things and meals weren't at uh, regular times. So that also added to the whole situation. So each of these events separately really is not that big a deal. But when you pile one on after the other, well, guess what? I gained weight. So it's not really a surprise that in a month I gained four pounds. It's really not rocket science to figure this one out. So now what am I going to do about it? And I have a plan. So thank goodness that I really don't drink alcohol. If I have a drink once a year, that's a miracle. And I kept up with my regular exercise. So it probably could have been worse if I was drinking a bunch of alcohol and not exercising. So thank goodness for that. So I am gonna be going back to basics. That's what I'm calling it, going back to basics. Going back to whole food, plant-based, no oil, 50-50 plate. I'm gonna be leaning heavily on my low calorie density chart. By the way, if you wanna print one out for yourself, there's a link in the description box. So I'm gonna stick with foods that are 600 calories or less per pound. So I won't be eating bread, crackers, nuts, nut butters, things like that. And I'm gonna lay off the avocados for a while until I get back to my fighting weight, which is 134. Right now I'm 138. And I can tell I just don't feel comfortable. My clothes are tight and I don't like it. So I'm going to nip it in the bud. I don't wanna wait till it's you know 10 pounds, 15 pounds. I'm gonna do it when it's four pounds and take care of it. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna take, it could take a month, it could take two months, it could take three months, I don't know. It's different for everybody. But I'm just gonna stay consistent on my plan here. And for someone of my age, I'm 64, I'm gonna be 65 in October, and I'm post-menopausal, it does take longer to lose weight. It's harder to lose weight. And I don't care what you hear on the internet with the 30-year-old YouTubers that are telling you that hormones don't matter, I'm here to tell you they do. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible. Oh, it's possible because I've done it. But it's just gonna take a little bit longer. You have to be a little bit more diligent, but it's totally possible. The second thing I'm gonna do is no eating after 7 p.m. I'm just gonna have a cutoff and that's gonna be it. Now, I usually break my fast about 12 and I like to have that much time in between meals. Now, that is just something that works for me. I'm not saying to do that or that you should do that, or it's gonna work for you, I don't know. But for me, this is what works. Stop eating at seven, I don't eat again until noon. My body just needs that much time to digest my food, otherwise I just feel bloated, I don't feel good. So for me, that's what I do. So I'll stop eating at seven, and then I'll start eating again at noon the next day. So the third thing I'm gonna do is get more sleep. So I'm gonna have a cutoff time, and I'm gonna just say this is it, computer's off, gotta go to bed, and I wanna make sure I get at least seven hours of sleep. And those are three things I'm gonna do. Simple, it's not gonna take a lot of work or a lot of thinking, it's pretty simple. It's pretty basic, back to basics. If you've gone off plan or gained a few pounds and you wanna join me in this back to basics, then let me know in the Facebook group and if you're not part of our Facebook group, it's super easy to join. The link's in the description box. It's totally free. Just 
just let me know if you're in and we can help support each other. I'm not giving it a time limit. Uh, it is a lifelong journey and you can do it for as long as or as little as you would like. It's just up to you. And I will update you in future videos as to how I'm doing. And I will continue to post gluten-free, whole food, plant-based recipes, no oil. I, I post every Tuesday and Saturday, so you can look forward to that. And before I sign off, I just want to say, if you did gain a few pounds, if you're plateaued, if you're struggling, it's totally normal. None of us are perfect, and we're all going through something at some point in our lives, either personally or at work with our kids, our family, whatever. I mean, no one is exempt. I don't care how perfect somebody's life looks on Instagram or YouTube, their life isn't perfect, okay? They have bad days, just like all of us. You're only seeing a little snapshot into their life. So please don't compare yourself to other people. You're a unique individual. Just stay in your lane and focus on yourself. And don't worry about too much what other people are doing. Of course, you can watch videos and look at people's Instagrams and get inspiration and get ideas, but that doesn't mean you have to do it exactly like they're doing it, okay? Because you're different. You're different from me. You know, you could be younger, you could be older. I mean, we're all different. And if you have gained weight or have fallen off plan, you know, don't think of it as, oh, I was bad or, oh, I cheated, because that implies that you're doing something wrong and you're not doing anything wrong. You're just a human being living in this imperfect world, trying to get along, trying to get by, just like the rest of us. So that's why I want to support you all and I hope you join the Facebook group so we can connect and support each other because that's really what it's all about. So let me know in the Facebook group if you're going to join me and we'll just go through it together and it'll be great. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you.